Aloha, good people of YouTube. What's going on, my friends and family? I'm getting ready for our first roaming reptile show at a school. At a school. We've done a couple of birthday parties now and feeling pretty good about that. This school we're going to be like presenting to about a thousand kids throughout the day. Four different shows of, you know, 250 or so kids. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like it's going to be good. I got the animals ready to go. I got a cart. I got a checklist. I'm as prepared as I could possibly be. And I think the fact that I'm nervous is a sign that, <laughs> that it's actually going to go pretty good. If I wasn't nervous, maybe it wasn't going to go good. I don't know if that makes any sense logically. I'm just... Uh, it's 4.30 in the morning, I just finished packing stuff up, I gotta hit the road, be at the school before drop-off traffic happens, and uh, I'm gonna hit the road, guys, and I'm hoping this is gonna be good. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film much of it at all, I'm gonna have to ask the uh, teachers once I get there, and maybe maybe one of the uh, kind people at the school will, will help me hold this camera and film some stuff for us, but either way, uh, I'm excited, nervous, and let's do this. We're here guys almost ready behind these curtains. We got a bunch of excited kids. You can't see you can't see right now But they're, they're out there. There's kids out there. Uh, they're eating breakfast. So we're gonna get ready to go here And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I got my shirt changed of course I got a little lapel mic because my voice isn't big and booming. I need a microphone, but Here we go I don't know if there's gonna be any teachers here or anything like that that can film the whole time I think things gonna be rotating people. I think I'm gonna be the only person that's here the whole time so I'll see if anybody's out there willing to hold a camera, but otherwise I'll just set it on the table and we'll do it like that. Right on. Alright guys, we're packed up. That very last class, this whole place was filled. The 4th and 5th graders and they were super excited, man. It was really stoked to just show these guys all this stuff, man. I got all the animals packed up and uh, dude, what an experience, man. That was, the energy was crazy. The kids were so excited and the teachers just trying to calm them down and I'm a little kid myself so I'm not very good at like telling everybody to be quiet. I'm like, yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> so it's just super cool this is my first school presentation it was about a thousand kids four groups of like 250 like I think I said already um, beside myself that was amazing I'm looking forward to doing many many more of these the energy output yeah it's a thing but it, I get it right back because these kids are super stoked and excited to see all these animals man and watching the teachers overcome fear the principal of the school holding the snake and getting all excited about it just changing minds one time at a time one time at a time, one time at a time. There was a little girl who was crying when I was gonna put the tarantula on her head and uh, she stood up here in tears while I called another girl up to put the tarantula on her head. And then she, as, as the other girl had the tarantula on her head, she, she dried up her tears. And when the other girl was done, she decided, actually, I do want to put that tarantula on my head. So that was, that was the moment, I think, for the day where there was that, it was that moment, you know. There's also another teacher here that I guess has had these presentations before she stays outside the building and this time she actually came inside the building uh, n Next time I think we're gonna try and get her to actually hold a snake and 
what a great what a great thing guys i mean I, i'm beside myself here man this is uh i knew it was going to be awesome the birthday parties have been awesome just this this amount of kids though in one day is like pretty freaking sweet man i'm uh mm. I'm beside myself. I want to do this every day now. You're right, Brandon. <laughs> every day. Man. <laughs> that was a haul, man. I started this morning at 4 a.m. It's almost 4 p.m. I'm finally back. I'm not done yet. I gotta put these animals away. I wanna give a special thank you to Mr. Brandon Fowler for believing in me that I could do this and that I would be good at it. And well, we'll just see if how good I we'll see how good I am at it soon. But ah, that's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing more of those, man. I also want to give a thank you to every one of the animals. Let's let's thank each and every one of the animals that came today. Thank you, RC, for teaching kids that even blind snakes can see. Thank you, Sunset, for just being badass and real easy with the kids. Thank you, Princess, for just being there, just in case we needed a backup snake, even though she didn't see any kids today. I guess she saw a couple. Thank you, Curly, for giving us the moment of the day. Hey, T. Yeah, that's Hal. He say thank you, Hal. Thank you, Bufo, for being awesome. Thank you, Stevie. Thank you, Scratch and Speckles. Thank you. I was gonna. We were calling you Bufo, but I think we have to change your name because the Toad's Bufo. We need a name for this guy. Help us out, guys. Oh, Pixie. Of course. Thank you, Lucky, for the comedic relief. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy, for being the most incredibly tolerant snake on the planet, and letting literally a thousand kids touch you today. Super cool. And a special thank you to Roxanne for snuggling with all the different teachers today. Very good. Good job, Mushi. And a special thank you to you. Hi, Mom, Dad. Hi, My parents shine. back from their uh, expeditions. Hi, How many hi. national parks did you guys visit? Five national parks, like three state, three or four state oh, parks. Oh, oh. Uh, well, more, and a yeah. whole lot of public roads. <laughs> <laughs> they came to slum it with us working folks. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to have a Halloween party over at my uncle's house and slash grandma cousin's birthday party, all kinds of party, party, party. Boys, what do you know? Mm. Frogs? What happened to I know? Um, that uh, that it's a tank toad and we have the one and that's all I know. <laughs> bye bye, Dinky Dunk. <laughs> hey Noah, <laughs> what do you know? I know. Gold. Gold? Yes. What about gold? <laughs> that it is a mineral called a base mineral. Or you could call it metal. Most people call it metal. And it is soft. You can bend it. And it almost as valuable as a diamond. And it's golden. That's why it's called gold. And many things can be made out of it. And that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh,
point of this video is to let you know which of animals we have left still. Sorry if I get really distracted in this video, I apologize. There's a fly in my room right now and it is bugging the crap out of me.